Hey guys, my name is Jay Plays Games here, and today we're going to be doing a Call of Duty Zombies video again. So what we're going to be doing is a another ranking video, as you can see by the title. I know I'm going to be doing a lot of that. So um, what I shall be doing, as you can see from the title, is ranking all perks. The requirements for this is must be Triarch and must have appeared in more than one zombies and no bo4 perks mainly because i don't really know much about them and they only appeared in one most of them so yeah we'll get on to the perks starting at world of war juggernaut i'll give a quick description of each 2500 points increases health quick revive uh, this is in the world of war version now 1500 points uh speed increase to of reviving double tap one 2000 points Increases the fire rate of your gun. Speed call to 3,000 points. Increases reload speed. In Black Ops 1, Quick, uh, quick Revive got a uh, got a, s a solo update. It's only 400, 500 points in solo. But... 1,500 points multiplayer again. Solo, it can give itself 5 and multiplayer is the same as uh, World of War. Stamina up, 2,000 points, increases sprint speed, deadshot daiquiri, 1,500 points, auto aims to the head, mule kick, 4,000 points, gives you a third weapon. BO2 only had two perks, and only two perks, that's it, 2,000 points for double tap 2.0, increases bullet damage and fire rate, electric cherry, 1,500 points, on reloading, it electrocutes all zombies around you, and has a possibility to kill them. The perks I've left out is, for my remembrance, is PhD flopper. Tombstone, Who's Who, and Mule Kick, uh, not Mule Kick, uh, Widow's Wine. I think that's all, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure that's all. Mainly because they only appeared in one zombie game to date, so. Now I'm going to do from worst, the ranking from worst to best. This is going to be a pretty short video, I think. Uh, to number 9, I think this is pretty controversial, I'm not sure. It's double tap one. I don't really like it that much. Never really use this. And it's in, let's be honest, in Black Ops 1 where it's mainly in, it's shit. Like the fucking, like let's say you're using it with an SMG. You're going to run out of ammo even faster. Like it doesn't power up your gun like it does in Black Ops 2 onwards. So yeah, it's not a good thing. It's cheap though. Not very use, not useful. Number eight, we have Deadshot Daiquiri. Very cheap. 1500 points like I said not so useful though like there's not gonna be a bunch of times we're gonna find a use for headshot damage so yeah I mean double t like especially in black ops 2 onwards like it just comes outshadowed by double tap at number seven we have electric cherry it's very cheap it's pretty useful on early rounds but it's not so good later on it doesn't it just stops killing the zombies after a certain point so there's no really point in getting it. I mean, fair enough, it's alright in mob. It's pretty good in mob when it, where it was introduced, but that's about it, I'd say. Now, at number six, we have Mule Kick. Very expensive. The most expensive perk on this list at 4,000 points. I'm not sure if I said that, but Jesus, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of points. Like, I'd just say, very expensive. Uh, you, you get the... You'll die when you... You'll, when you die, you get the... Th you lose the third gun. So, and you're better off just saving for pack punch, I'd say. Like, it's a lot better. Like, seriously. I'd say get it later on after you have your guns pack a punch, or if you have a perkaholic, then it's alright. But, like, uh, if you're only going to go for four perks in a map, and if you're playing a map that doesn't have, like, the. Like, especially Black Ops 3, where you can get more than four, I don't see the point in using it. Uh, speed cola, pretty expensive, not at all vital, like it's not vital, you don't need this, like you won't be better off or worse off, but still very useful. It's good if you're using uh, LMGs, especially in earlier games, like in Black Ops 3 you can customize it, so you can have fast mags, but in before that it's pretty useful if you're going to uh, get an SMG. Try to use S uh, not SMGs, LMGs, sorry, my bad. Um, now, number four, we have Quick Revive. Very cheap. It is the cheapest one, especially in total. Only 500 points. 
must have it is vital in solo. It gives you a self revive. It is vital, but not so much in multiplayer. You don't really. It's not like, like if I'm playing multiplayer, I'm not really going to get this perk. Like yeah. Uh, number three, we have stamina up. It's cheap, two thousand points. Not so vital, but still very useful. It increases sprint speed, which it's which is really good. Like it's unlimited sprint speed and increases sprint speed. So yeah, that's that's very good. I'd say. Uh, number two, we have double tap two point oh. <laughs> it's very vital. Like seriously, it increases damage output from guns. Basically, shoots two in one bullet. And cheap. It's only two thousand points. Yeah, I'd get it. I very much recommend. And of course, at number one, the most obvious perk on this list, if anything, Juggernog. It's not really that expensive. It's out of the four OG perks, it's the second most expensive. But it's Jesus Christ, is it worth it? Like it increases your health. Like. I'm pretty sure it double, like it doubles the amount of hits you're allowed to take. I'm not hundred percent sure. So yeah, uh, yeah, the last few, like I think the bottom, like one to four, I'd say is pretty good. Like is one definitely, two definitely, three. I say you can move it around. Four, say you can move it around. I say you can move around a lot. Like you can give a good. You can probably give it like a good reasoning for why some of these should be in different places, higher up or lower down. But this is just my opinion, and like at the end of the day, like how I personally like these, and how personally these good, how, and how I th think that these are better off. For example, double tap one, uh, like it, all it does is increase the fire rate, which can be good. But I feel like it's you're just gonna run out of ammo faster, instead of killing zombies faster, especially in later rounds. So I don't think it's that good at all. Deadshot, I th it's better because you actually do actual headshot damage, extra headshot damage. But it's not as good as electric cherry, which actually kills them to a certain point. But not as good as mule kick, which gives you an extra gun. Hmm, which you can pack a punch. Hmm, meh. Uh, yeah, I think Electric Cherry and Mule Kick could be switched around. You can make a case. But Speed Coal, I'd say, pretty. S it's basically the middle. It's middle ground. It's not too overpowered where you need it every game, but it's not shit. It, like, it's a perfect middle ground perk where you can, like, oh, I want to use Speed Coal. I think it's a good fourth perk to just round things up. So yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. If you disagree with me, that's fine. I mean, apart from number one, everyone. I think if you play zombies, if if you're do using the requirements I am and not adding PhD and we're just wine into the mix, yeah, yeah, no. The Juggernaut is definitely number one. If you do add those, it definitely gets a lot trickier. I might do one where I cover all the perks, which means Double Tap is definitely going to get higher up in the list because we all know who's who is like the worst one. Tombstone is the worst one because you can only use it in fucking multiplayer. So yeah, Tombstone is definitely the worst perk of them all. Like Black Ops 2 didn't really introduce that many good perks, did they? They introduced like uh, Electric Cherry, which is alright. That's it. Did they introduce any more? Uh, who's who? Tombstone, Electric Cherry. I know they brought back Deadshot for Mob. I don't think they introduced another perk. So yeah, that's all I really say about that. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider li leaving a like. If you haven't, well, dislike the video, I guess. Uh, if you're if you haven't subscribed yet and you, you have and you're enjoying my videos, then uh, I'd say look at I'd say if you're new to the channel, I'd say click on another video, see what you think of the channel. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. If you do, subscribe, turn on notifications, do all the good shit. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Peace out, guys. This reminds me of when I was a, a child playing pops and robbers.